Hey everybody, it's Bobby here. I'm standing in for Mama today on her YouTube channel. It's good to be with you. Uh, I'm doing a really good recipe for you today that I like. It's from one of uh, my books with my brother, Dean Brothers, Y'all Come Eat. This is, uh, golly, this is 2008, so this has been a long time ago. And this is a uh, tried and true um, recipe. Lots of people like it, it's been well reviewed. It's very, very simple. Um, if I'm doing it, you know that it's very simple. This picture is, uh, I, <clears throat> I remember this like it was yesterday. This was in my brother's backyard. Uh, as you can imagine, all these people are friends of ours, uh, and they still are. Um, but they really had, there's no Photoshop involved in this picture at all. They really brought this big sign into my brother's yard. Teresa, were you here the day that we did this? Yes. They really brought this big sign into my brother's yard and set it up uh, back on his deck. And, I, and it took a long time to get this shot. I was sitting on top of this sign, and let me tell you what, my butt was on fire immediately and the whole day because this sign is plugged in and, you know, they're electric, obviously, all the lights and everything on. That sign got so hot in my rear end, it was just on fire. And maybe that's one of the reasons that I'll never forget this shoot, but here's my brother and me and a bunch of our good friends back there in the back. And, Champ, God rest his soul. He went to heaven a couple of years ago. But this is a uh, just a great book. And look at those two fellas back there in the back. Now, who would have ever thought that those two guys would grow up to be major celebrities? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> and they didn't. <laughs> but we did put out some really, really good books, and this is one of them. All right. The recipe is couscous salad with tomatoes and um, uh, uh, olives and feta cheese and just some of my favorite things. So let's get started, it's so simple. I've got a cup and a half of um, water boiling on the stove and it's just beginning to percolate so it's almost ready. Um, this couscous recipe is, uh, there's a lot of calories in couscous, which is, that's fine. Um, but it, this is not a super unhealthy recipe. It's just one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the water and we'll stir in our couscous. The thing about couscous, or one of the things about couscous, uh, sort of like grits, it's a really blank palate, you know? I mean, there's just not much to it, so it doesn't taste like very much unless you add to it, so. And you don't leave it on the water. Like once you put nope. it in, that's one thing that's very Put it in. I'm going to stir that couscous and the oil together. I'm going to cover it with the lid. Boom. Turn it off. Pull it. And remove it from the heat. And in about three or four minutes, that couscous will be fluffy and delicious and ready. So um, why don't we go ahead and take a break now, and when we come back, we'll finish it up. All right, everybody. Welcome back. I love saying that. The couscous looks fantastic. Look at that beautiful couscous, the steam pouring out of it. And how you check it is just prick it with a fork a little bit. Yeah, look at that rake. And, um, you know, if you wanted to, this recipe is uh, specifically, you know, it's just a little bit of olive oil. But if you wanted to use butter or if you wanted to use more olive oil, you can do what you want. But this recipe is, uh, is good the way that it is. So our couscous is ready. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna to mix together the dressing, which is very light. It's just a uh, couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. Little bit of olive oil, teaspoon. And a little S&P. Great, really simple. Uh, nice and bright with the lemon juice. This is perfect for something like a couscous. And uh, folks really like it. So we'll add that to our couscous. Just pour it right over. I'm gonna come back to this bowl because this bowl is where I'm gonna mix everything in. So I guess I could have just put the couscous right on top of it, maybe. But I did not. Okay, so um, why don't we go ahead and grab a spoon. We'll use one of my mama's handy wooden spoons back here. I like couscous. I think that I was saying this before we took a little break, but I like couscous because it's a, because it's a blank palette, um, and whatever you add to it is what it's going to be. You know, it kind of reminds me of grits a little bit. 
grits are that way too. They're just, you know, when you meet sometimes sometimes people from uh, from up north, let's say above the Mason Dixon line, will say, "Ooh, grits, that's gross." Well, no, they're not. They really just don't taste like anything. But when you slam them with butter and cheese, man, ooh, or make some gravy, red eye gravy with some ham, or shrimp and grits is a big deal down here, in Charleston also. So um, grits, couscous, things like this really are what you make of them. So we're gonna make this couscous really nice with the uh, dressing that I just made. Okay, and without mushing it up and tearing it up, I'm just gonna kind of fold it together with the dressing. And to it, I'm gonna add just some of my favorite things. I think I'll add the feta cheese first so it can sort of get a chance to melt a little bit. I'm gonna add, you know, I'm eyeballing this. These containers, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I go through a lot of feta cheese at my house. A container this size doesn't last long at my place, man. We make a lot of salads, my wife and I do, at home. And uh, feta cheese is really sort of a staple in there. So I'll fold in a little feta cheese. And you can see the cracked black pepper in there from the dressing that I made. It's just nice. And also I'm gonna fold in some tomatoes. I've got some uh, tomatoes here that I've cut into pretty small slices. And then some that are just in quarters and some that are in a couple of halves. This is a really kind of a rustic cut here. It doesn't have to be diced up. It's whatever you want it to be, you know? So if you like the way it looks with chunky tomatoes in it like that, uh, and I do, I think that's really pretty. Very pretty, actually. Uh, and I'll add, I'm gonna use all of these olives. That's probably a half cup, three quarters of a cup, or maybe even a cup of olives. I didn't measure that. I love Kalamata uh, olives and feta cheese together. Oh my gosh. Just wonderful, wonderful flavors. Now that is a good salad. Like I said earlier, a lot of calories in couscous. You might be surprised there are a lot of calories in couscous. Um, but that's okay with me. What am I missing? How about a little parsley? Got some fresh parsley here and I'll just pop off a few sprigs of it. It's nice to have, I'll tell you this, it's nice to have a garden around. And my mom has just got a beautiful garden here that's got pretty much everything you need. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what, something that I got, <clears throat> I like having citrus trees too. And you know, at this time of year, a couple of months back, um, at Christmas time, wow, the citrus trees really start giving. And I'll tell you something interesting. I've got a beautiful uh, Meyer lemon tree in my yard. It's just gorgeous. And it gives Meyer lemons just the size of your fist. And uh, they're, they're, it's interesting because sometimes my, uh, Meyer lemon tree or, uh, or other citrus trees, they'll give uh, one year and then maybe not the next. You won't get anything the next year. But man, mine gives without fail every year. So I'm so, I feel so fortunate to have that. There's nothing like, and we use a lot of lemons at our house too. We drink uh, lots of warm lemon water in the morning and we squeeze it into, you know, different, just things like this. We use a lot of lemon juice. So um, I love this time of year, you know, a month or so back to, uh, to get those big Meyer lemons. They're so juicy and wonderful. And you know what I found out about my tree too this year that I didn't know? is that uh, I didn't even know such a thing existed. I'm kind of embarrassed. But my, uh, my UPS guy came over and um, we were having a chat out in front of my house. And I said, hey man, I got, I got a lemon tree back here that's just, I, it's more lemons than we can use. Come back here and get some. And I invite anybody that's, you know, that's at the house like that, come back here and get some lemons. He went back there and he grabbed a couple of lemons and he came back out from back and he said, hey man, is that a, uh, he said, those are beautiful. He said, is that a, is that a fruit salad tree? And I said, what are you talking about? He said, well, you know, a fruit salad tree, it gives you different types of citrus. It'll give you some lemons, it'll give you tangerines or oranges or whatever. There is such a thing. And I said, you've got to be kidding. And he said, uh, no, I'm not kidding. And so lo and behold, I went out there and checked it out after he left and yeah, it had big Meyer lemons on it. And then it had what appeared to be uh, oranges and tangerines on it. Just, uh, just really, really beautiful and interesting. And also I have a group of grapefruit tree in my backyard that has never ever given me a grapefruit. It's big, it's beautiful, it's healthy. It's never given me a grapefruit. And this past year, man, one, the size of a basketball. You never know. All right, we'll see you next time. Couscous is delicious. Hey, 
Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.